everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about harmonics and how harmonics are in the reverberation, okay? We've done countless videos on reverberation. I think we all have a pretty good understanding of what that is. I think we all know what fundamentals and harmonics are, but let's kind of break them down and give them a, a new definition and a new twist to help with the visualization. If we help with the visualization, then we help with the auditory part and the understanding that goes with it. So. Let's think of harmonics as the tail of a fundamental. So if we have a start point, that harmonic is going to go. If we take a you know, middle C here on a piano, here's our fundamental. And then we're going to have you know, the harmonic structure of it here, which is really the tail. So if we think of a tadpole, you know, the fundamental is here and the harmonic is in the tail. That's what we have to realize, that there's kind of two parts to sound and notes and everything. So, and we know reverberation, we've defined that. So the harmonics must live and die on their own volition. We can't have anything in the way of the tail, so to speak. We have to let the tail run its full course. So if it's middle C, we got to let it run all the way out maybe to 10,000 cycles. We have to be able to let this area, I mean, anybody can do a fundamental. I can do a fundamental right there, but where's the tail? Where's the harmonic? So it's dull, it's a thump, it's more noise than it is music. So the bottom line here is that we, as designers, we must design for this parameter. We must design for this harmonic to uh, really come to life because that's, that's where music is. That's where the emotion is. That's where the feeling is. You know, if we just had a room that covered the fundamentals, it, it would be too dead. That's where people say, oh, it's too dead. You know, it's got no life because it's got no harmonic structure in the room. So you have to realize and when you're designing rooms and doing it that you use your absorption and your diffusion treatment to make sure you get out of the way of that tail of the fundamental. So you want to make sure that you, you do that. And if we have high RT60 times, reverberation times, then we get that blurring and smearing and that mud and soup like we, we use for the term for the low end. So harmonics are in the reverberation. You have to manage the reverberation time correctly so that you can let the harmonic breathe, let the harmonic live and die on its own. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.